Hello friends, welcome back to our artistic therapy zone. Today we are going to make this beautiful coffee painting with a twist of copper. Can you see how the ornaments have done magical because of the shiny effect of copper? Can you guess who is this beauty? Yes, she is the ancient Egyptian queen, Cleopatra. She was known for her charisma and her sexiness esteem from her intelligence. She was one of the most dynamic figure the world has ever seen. Let's get started to make this beauty. We'll need a coffee. You can take any coffee powder, micron pan. If you don't have micron, it's okay. You can use any. Uh, waterproof gel pen then we need brushes of size double zero triple zero and a flat brush of size zero then the magical color that is pearl metallic copper which we are going to use on the ornaments glass of clear water and watercolor paper on which we will be tracing Cleopatra I'll be sharing you the PDF design of Cleopatra which is given in the description box below. You can download and take a printout and trace it. Then you have to ink it with a gel pen or micron pen with whatever you have because it adds to the beauty of the painting by giving crisp borders. So like this you complete the full picture. We will be making different shades of coffee. The main thing is it depends on how much water you add to the coffee powder. So right now I am showing you how to make the lightest color is we have to add more water. Then the medium tone where we will be adding little less water and in the final dark tone we will be adding only one or two drops of water and if you think that the shade is not coming proper you can increase or decrease the quantity of water or coffee powder depending on which shade you want only thing you need to keep in mind is always test it before applying because if you are a beginner you will not know what shade it is coming so Let's get started with the crown. I am adding the darkest tone. And you have to be very careful while applying it. Do it very slowly. Don't let the coffee powder go out of the crown. It is a little bit intricate design. So we have to be careful. Best part of this painting is the aroma of coffee. It is so heavenly. You will enjoy this painting if you are a coffee lover. We will be adding the dark shade in the middle. Carefully and gently add If you think you are you're running short of color, again add powder, mix with water, test it on paper first and then try. As I am little bit experienced with it, so I am not testing, but you test the consistency, the shade of the color and depending on it, add either powder or water mm. you have to apply it very gently see your stroke should be slow this is very this requires a lot of patience and concentration so do it patiently don't be in a hurry And 
and focus now I am doing the lips with the medium tone very carefully you can take size 0 brush I am using flat brush as I am comfortable with it now we will be doing the bellies first the dark tone on the back side the heel side and lighter tone on the front side and we have to blend it properly see how I am doing take little bit water in your brush and gently mix the darker tone with the lighter tone now we will be taking copper color and applying on the metallic parts of the crown necklace We have to be very gentle while applying the strokes and one has to have patience to do this art as it is little bit intricate. Then you have to paint the bracelet. Flat breast is highly suitable see how I am keeping the brush I am keeping it not flat blood but standing the bristles you have to see this way you will get proper edges next we will do the anklet all the ornaments we will be covering with copper it will give a shining effect which will look very magical and add life to your painting now for your rings Cleopatra was very beautiful and intelligent queen which we are depicting via our this painting Now we are adding the medium tone to the crown where the snake is there that part and adding the lightest tone to the skin parts which is very watery coffee So like this the lightest shade of coffee we have to apply on the skin parts and here we are adding a little bit of shading with the dark tone. We have to be little careful while blending the base coat of coffee has to be wet to blend it properly. So we should keep in mind that it is not dried if we need a proper blending of colors the base color has to be wet so like this we are adding shading effects to the skin to make it look more natural and realistic
now we will be adding little bit of shading on the face with medium tone and blend it properly now the legs area apply the lightest tone first once the lightest tone is applied then we will have the darkest tone and blend it with the lighter tone to give the shading effect aren't you guys enjoying this painting i am immersed in it it's so so therapeutic i'm simply enjoying it so like this enjoy the painting and forget about the worldly things think it like a meditation which will calm down your senses you have to just focus on what you are doing rest everything will work like magic to relax and rejuvenate now we will be doing the cape of queen i forgot the name <laughs> yes yeah, cape right and we have to apply the lightest tone here first we will apply lightest tone everywhere on the cape and then we'll give shading with the darker tone see how i am giving the shading of darker tone which will give it a beautiful effect so whenever we add this light and dark tone shading it actually enhances the beauty of your painting by making it look more natural and realistic and don't forget to blend the colors otherwise they will not look natural and for blending the rulers the base coat also has to be wet If it is not wet, the colors will not blend properly. Give a little bit of highlight with darkest tone. Now we will do the eyebrows with the micron. You have to be careful to fill it. These are very intricate parts of painting, so you have to be very careful. Now the eyes. You have to be very very slow. while doing the eyes because we don't want to take any risk these are the swatches kada our painting is ready hope you enjoyed this beautiful coffee painting with the heavenly aroma of coffee and if not then grab a cup of coffee and start making the intricate details made it look so pretty hope i have made justice to the beauty of cleopatra look at her eyes as if they are speaking aren't they comment below if you like the painting and don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you recreate this painting please do tag us on instagram will be happy to share it on our stories 
Thank you guys. Art to you all. Until then, bye bye. See ya.